Yeah, yeah, it's like weird. It's like Twitch is the gaming platform and now they are like, yo, you should maybe not be gaming on our platform because if you want to, you know, maybe you should mute your in-game, you know, maybe should you, you should mute your game. Like they ruin like gaming experience for mm, some people now. It's like, it's so weird. So yeah, it's like, it's weird. So, but, but they, you know, I hope they will learn from the people. Mm, maybe, maybe they do. And it's like all new for Twitch now, so we will give him we will give him time. Like th there is there is also good things on Twitch. Like I don't know, there are, there are good things. Trust me. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your pin opening statement. <laughs> like like people like me no yeah pe people pe people yeah it's like t twitch are about people right about communities about people like you in chat people like me on 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 this side on screen thank you for that by the way um yeah we make this platform and they should know that and at heart twitch knows that at heart twitch knows that the people uh, watching and the people making content they're all gamers they're all like good people like they're raising money uh, for good causes, they doing good stuff around the world. They, you know, they they're they're pushing gaming, they're pushing like individuals, and they're pushing themselves. So I feel like they will come back around, and they will, they will like do stuff. They will do something, some things better. So we will give them time because you know, YouTube had a time. I'm a you know long time YouTube guy. I was like on YouTube for seven years before I started Twitch. Uh, for German people and Twi uh, and YouTube had a time where YouTube was very bad for I don't know maybe a year uh, yeah maybe a year where YouTube was very 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 weird and very cruel to like creators and all that stuff and it changed and uh, this will change too like Twitch is not in this regard Twitch is not that bad and has not the and has not made the decisions YouTube make made back then so for me it's like oh they will they will learn they will learn so it's good and again i like i like the platform itself because it's easy to use it's a good platform streaming on this platform is always good like it is like most of the time it works there's no like downs from servers or stuff like that so it's good so it's good and in, in yesterday's session the, the defense presented Presented us, pres presented us with a new theory of this case. Sorry, I talked about stuff. Now I'm like totally like away from this. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> Got him. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Mrs. D. Van Kast to the stand. Ms. D. Van Kast is, the pro is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Do we know about the threatening? Will the witness state her name and occupation? Ivan Kess, I'm a producer at Globe at, uh, for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. Edge Lord? Ha! Got it. <laughs> Edge Lord? Edge God. I dislike needless banter. If you must, uh. Pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Very well, Mr. Vanquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. <laughs> I hope I do that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, no. Serious time. Let's go. Let, let, let's get this murder done here. The day of the murder. I entered the trailer. Oh, uh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. 
There was to be a hero herazel her her herazel herazel Hero rehearsal afterwards so we went to studio one I was fatigued so I, so I had Sal take me at 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting Sal and I ate T-bone steak on the table in front of the trailer we found Hammer's body later when we all went to studio one that's all Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued. So you had Saul take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van to, at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. Uh... To walk? What with the... What with that monkey's head toppling over? Okay. I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. it is it, it, it? I hope it, it, this is the final battle. I'm getting tired of this case. I entered the trailer uh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. See what we can do. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth, and please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. And when exactly was that? I forgot. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think. Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Yeah. I was fatigued. From what? Hold on, you had to Saul take you. What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Mm. Let's press all of this crap. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal? No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during the break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak... Well, Nick, find anything. I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being a the boss. But I'm sure you will find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. We don't have like the... Huh, weird. By yourself? Yeah. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this... Hers? Hers? Tears? Oh yeah. don't have like a photo that or like evidence that like the other person 
came to Studio 2. Like, why do why don't I have like that? I guess I pressed everything and now I have to like present something? I have to, s I have to do something about like eating stuff. Right, this was my like hint. Do we have someone who can verify this cell? If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. to find something here, huh? I will save. I will save. And I will, like, throw things at her now. <laughs> I guess. Maybe just the plate. Yeah, maybe just the plate. You think you know what the contradiction is? Yeah, there were no like T-bone things on the plate, huh? Ah! As I saw it. You claimed you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you didn't. Uh, you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. And this was not in the other thing, right? Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Mrs. Vanquez, Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at the table outside the trailer. And there were no T-bone steaks there. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? Maybe they had a trash can, you know, and they put the frickin' bone in the frickin' trash can? They were hungry? <laughs> You ate the bone too. You didn't. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it away. You threw it somewhere, like the incinerator. Ooh, you ate the bone too. I. I see. <laughs> Then what was Miss Vanquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious you're on a murder? Meeting the Steel Samurai. Punching tables. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Are you saying yes, your honor? As Miss Vanquez left the trailer to eat her steak. There was no steak. She ran into the steel samurai. <laughs> she didn't want salmonella. 
And then you did it. You smacked that table. You killed him with your own hands. Uh oh. <laughs> Mr. Right. You're right. Isn't it a little uh pre some putum What? Pre subtumptus? I will look that up. Sorry. I have to pronounce that. Pre somp toes. Presumptuous. Oh yeah, good. Presumptuous. I know that now. Presumptuous. Voreilig in German. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. <laughs> and here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. I, you know, this like the, the judge is like hearing this too. So I'm not sure what's going on right now. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. What are we good? What? Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite statuture. Oh, I see. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you could. I will save. I will save. It's not impossible. Well, maybe it's not impossible, but... Silence! I'm speaking. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, Edgeworth. We don't need you. We It's a battle of wits now. The victim was stabbed through the chest from the front. Yes. I believe this would in indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. But... Ho! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this is not a JoJo adventure. This is real court. This is a real courtroom. I have order. Order in my court. Now, the Seal Samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. I couldn't possibly win such a fight. Not to mention there is proof I did not have the spear. The photograph of the Steel Samurai shows that the victim himself was holding it. Or do you mean... <laughs> or do you mean to suggest that I could have wrestled it away from him? Yeah, take that right, you fuck. If you still think she did it, show us proof. Uh, er, hey Nick, look at the data we have on the spear, uh, samurai spear in the court record. Isn't there something in there that gets to you? Something odd about the samurai spear? Yeah, the, the head is broken.